This is a Klamath Democracy Laboratory Dispatch on Democracy. Democracy. Government for the people, by the people. The system of government in which those governed get to determine how they are governed. In this way, democracy is the social-political equivalent of the basic moral principle contained in the Golden Rule. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. In terms of governance, you, me, any reasonable person would want to have a say in any decisions that affect us in how we are governed. And if you apply the basic moral principle, the golden rule, you grant everybody a say in how society is governed, just as we would want for ourselves. And thereby, you get democracy, government by and for the people who are being governed. In a democracy, a democratic majority get to decide how their society is to be organized. As a matter of definition, if a society is organized in a way a majority of the people do not agree with, that society is not a democracy, just by definition. You don't have a society being governed by and for the people if a majority of the people don't agree with the way they are being governed, with the way society is organized. Now, the point. We contend that at this point, America is not a democracy. Our American society is not organized in a way a majority of the people would agree with. We purport to demonstrate this with a thought experiment. So say you have a hundred people in a big dance hall sized room, and some random Hindu god comes by and says, I'm going to give these people a thousand dollars to distribute among themselves any way that at least 51 of them can agree upon. Okay, so a thousand dollars, a hundred people. They could give each person ten dollars. They could give the oldest fifty fifteen dollars and the youngest fifty-five. Or any system at all of distribution that fifty-one of them will agree to. So say somebody suggests they distribute the thousand dollars in the same proportions that wealth is distributed in the United States, survey of consumer finances by the Federal Reserve Bank. What would that look like? Okay, first, get ten people and have them move into one of the corners of the room. These ten people will share seven hundred dollars. But not only that, take one of those ten people and have him separate off to the side. That one person will get three hundred and thirty dollars. The other nine will therefore share three hundred and seventy or forty-one ten each. Okay, get another group of ten people and have them go into another corner. That group of ten is going to share $130, $13 each. Okay, now we need a group of 20 clustered together. That group of 20 all together will share $110, $550 each. Now another group of 20, take these 20 people, they get to share $40. Two dollars each. And finally, the last 40 people will share three dollars. Seven and a half cents each. So distributing the a thousand dollars according to the distribution of wealth in the United States in 2001, according to the United States government, one person gets 330 Nine people get 41.10. Ten people get $13. Twenty people get 550. Twenty people get two dollars, and forty people get seven and a half cents each. So the question is: Would 51 of the people in the room agree to distribute thousand dollars in that way? No way. Probably not even 25 would agree to that distribution. Now, importantly, the point here is not that any particular distribution is the right one, that everyone should get $10 or whatever. That's not the point. 
The point is that that distribution demonstrated in the experiment, the distribution that we have here in the United States, would not exist in a democracy. That a majority of a people would not choose to be organized in a way that wealth ends up being distributed, as in the thought experiment, as in the United States. So, in other words, the United States, where that distribution exists, is not a democracy. If we don't have a democracy, what do we have? Any reasonable fact-based analysis shows our society is governed by the wealthy and for the wealthy. In America, the way we are currently organized, wealth controls the politicians, wealth controls the media, wealth controls the economy. By controlling those, the owners and managers of wealth control our society. Thus, we have government by and for the wealthy, plutocracy. America is not a democracy currently, it's a plutocracy. Is this the society we want, or do we want to try to create a democracy? That choice is up to us.